What do you think it will take? And do you think it's feasible at all to find somebody um, to turn the face of politics around, to get it back to where you think it's a, a good thing, where it's not just about the power grab and actually um, people are representing their constituency and looking out for their constituency's best, best interest. Do you think that's even feasible again? Well, it's going to take a real intellectual revolution. And, and uh, you know, we might get somebody a little bit more moderate than Biden or Trump at, at some point. It's hard to see. And that won't last for very long because moderation doesn't usually last for very long in the, unless you really have an intellectual shift. And I don't see where the intellectual shift comes from because part of our problem is we expect too much of our politicians. You know, the politicians take care of their community. I, I mean, the whole point of politics is not to take care of us. The whole point of politics is not to determine what's good for us. The whole pol point of politics is to protect us. That's it. Protect us from crooks and frauds and murderers and terrorists and, and foreign invaders. And they can't even do that, right? They can't even do that. Defund the police, right? So you get crime spikes. Or let's give money to Iran. That, that'll, that'll really help protect us from terrorists. And for so our politicians don't do that, and we don't we, and we don't call them on it. N nobody calls, nobody called Biden, or very few people called Biden on releasing funds to Iran or trying to negotiate a deal with them. Nobody called Trump on signing a peace deal with the Taliban. Nobody called Trump on groveling before the uh, brutal dictator of North Korea. Why not? Why aren't people calling them out for this stuff? Because people don't believe in anything anymore. So this is why it's an it's going to be an intellectual revolution. What you need is to return to the mentality, the philosophy, the ideas of the founding of this country. Basically, the ideas of, look, individuals have reason. They have the capacity to take care of themselves. They have the capacity to figure out what's good for them. Politicians stay out. Uh, political leaders stay out of the way. Individuals can take care of themselves. And then the idea that what matters are individuals, not groups, not tribes, not collectives, but individuals and individuals should be left free to live their lives because government intervention is always the use of a gun, the use of force, and force should only be used in self-defense. And therefore, the role of government is, to, is, is a self-defense role. It's to protect us. It's to provide self-defense against the criminals and against the, the terrorists and, and foreign invaders. And otherwise, so, so it's to create a space that is free of violence so that we... Individuals can take care of ourselves. Now, that is the exact opposite of all the political thinking that, that exists today, both on the left and on the right. All politicians go into politics because they want to take care of you, of me, or they want to have power over us. Uh, they, the, the, the whole principle is, and this is why in, in, in the 19th century, to be a politician wasn't that big of a deal because you didn't have a lot of power. You couldn't do that much. Uh, you basically were there to kind of keep up to date with uh, property rights and other protections of rights uh, and, and, and make sure these rights were violated. Foreign policy was important, always is important because of, of potential uh, violations, invasion and things like that. But otherwise, there was nothing to do, right? Congress didn't meet very often. Uh, uh, you know, most congressmen were expected to have a, a, a profession to work because they only met for like less than half, for like three months a year or something like that because there wasn't anything to do. That's the kind of politics we need to come back to. I, you know, I, I always celebrate when the government shuts down because everything Congress does today is damaging to us. So what, what we need to return to is a world in which individuals are trusted to live their lives for themselves. And that's gonna require a shift in our thinking about education. It's gonna require a shift in thinking about individuals, thinking about reason, and certainly gonna require a shift in thinking about politics. I do think politics is downstream from culture, and I do think culture is downstream from ideas. We have to change ideas, which will change the culture, which will change our politics. And there are no shortcuts, which is a depressing thought because this takes a long time.